what's your level of concern about this organization? Well, I think this is a particularly pernicious group. I mean, this is a group that kind of operates a bait and switch online. They recruit people online and then they bring them into a very tight knit cloistered kind of community in which they have control over the environment, their sleep, their work habits and so on. And I think that uh, Amy is reinforced by all these people around her and it sounds to me like she can do nothing wrong that no matter what Amy does or says, it's reinforced by the group as right, as godlike, and in fact, to disagree with Amy is to disagree with God. And so Amy herself rationalizes everything, the group reinforces that, and many of the people who lead destructive cults have been described as narcissistic, uh, psychopaths, sociopaths, incapable of reflection and, and, and really having a sense of conscience about what they do. And I see a pattern of that and quite a bit more in this particular group. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the things that we often see with these pathological leaders is a grandiose idea of who they are and what they can achieve. And in this situation, she says she's God. I mean, I, I don't know how more grandiose you can get than God. 500 plus lives excessive admiration, sense of entitlement, exploitive others, this exaggerated sense of power with spiritual surgeries and, and healings. I mean, I guess the only thing I can say about uh, Mother God is she's just not very interesting because she's not very creative, uh, just seems very destructive. But it's, it's just kind of a not very interesting, creative embodiment of this arrogant entitlement. Well, and it's not a very unique group. I mean, there have been a number of women who have led groups and a number of men who have described themselves as God-like or God. Uh, there was a woman, uh, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, who led a group called the Church Universal and Triumphant. She was called Guru Ma or Mother. Uh, and, and there is a group uh, called uh, the, uh, from South Korea, the Mission Society Church of God, and they call their leader Mother God. So will the real Mother God please stand up? Because there are a number of leaders who claim these same things as Amy does. But what you can see is how it empowers Amy over the group and puts her in a position where she cannot be questioned. And she herself solicits people to surrender. To surrender to who? To surrender to her, to her authority, her absolute knowledge that cannot be questioned. And so uh, Amy has got a pretty comfortable existence in a kind of bubble in which her narcissism is re repeatedly reinforced and whatever she wants, whatever her whim may be, uh, it's it's given to her by the group. Uh, she lives a comfortable life, and I don't see how she is motivated, other than a conscience, which she doesn't seem to possess, to stop it all.